Um, this is so good. Greg brought this up beforehand and said, hey man, why don't we why don't we do an episode on this? And I think this is so important. I don't think enough people talk about it. Right. And I think we need to talk about this, okay? Yeah. The one thing that every nail tech should be focusing on, period, whether you're a beginner or you're advanced or you're a nail artist, what wherever you are in your nail career, what is that, Greg? You have to be a black belt in fundamentals. Okay, so what is when you say fundamentals of nails, what do you mean exactly? This is really, really important, especially if you're a beginner. I'm telling you, you want to listen to this. This is so important. So, like, learning how to use your electric file well yeah. is a fundamental aspect of doing great work because y- you're going to need that during finishing. Fundamentals of hand filing. <clears throat> how to hold your hand file. Like, there's a proper way to hold your hand file. Yeah, that's, that's wild. But there's it's a true. Pro- there is a proper way when it comes to shaping as well as it comes to basically cuticle finishing like there you can't hold it from the side you have to hold it with the right balance so that it doesn't slip Um, the fundamentals of holding your brush and that applies to again holding your nail polish bottle so holding your tools properly so that you don't shake while you work Mm again, is going to strengthen your grip pressure. It's going to strengthen your dexterity. There's a lot of things. The fundam- these basic fundamentals so that you have great balance yeah. while you work. Um, and, and, and then again, you know, there's fundamentals in acrylic. Having, you know, again, are you able to pick up a bead of acrylic with great consistency every single time? Whether it's a small, medium, or large pearl, right? There is fundamentals to that. And, you know, th- these things, even with gel, um, and it all relates back to, again, like proper balance, right? Yeah. How do you hold the products how do you apply the products with full control um it takes basic fundamentals and again when you're starting off it might feel awkward like everything else does right your your sensei um made a statement that really hit me important because he you know he said like Stop trying to focus on these advanced techniques. What you really have to focus on is being a black belt on the basic fundamentals. Yep. And then again, like once you are a master at the fundamentals, right? Whatever advanced technique you want to learn, dude, it becomes super easy. Totally. Or easy to learn. Easy to learn. Exactly. Like, like if I was to hand somebody an electric file and say, I need you to cut the smile line in for me. Like if you had good electric filing skills, like that's one thing, right? Like it, it, dude, if you, if you're like, I can finish the nail, right? You go side to side, yeah, finishing yeah, yeah. the nail yes. with perfection. Right. It's not going to guarantee that you're going to be able to cut in a smile line and shave off the free edge. If you don't have good balance and support and knowing how to work that electric file from one end to the other in one direction. Right. Like these things, again, the fundamentals of how you hold the file, how you work the electric file, are going to determine whether you're able to do the advanced techniques so that you don't not only hurt yourself or the client you're working on. You know what's interesting is like it's such a huge uh, comparison. Like one of the biggest fundamentals in like martial arts jujitsu is is having what they call like having a good base, having a good it's balance, bro. Correct. It's balance. Balance. And it's it's, it's having funny. that it's base. The same thing. It's the same thing, bro. It's having that base and balance in like knowing where your balance and base is as you're in a in different positions, you know, and trying to exploit other person's balance and base so that you can sweep take and come advantage. on top, take advantage of it. So like I don't think balance is just talked about enough in nails. It's like, not. Like, it's not right. It's not, and I I talk about. I tried it like literally. I I stress it in all the lives I do. I am not just teaching people, you know, how to pick up the bead and how to set it down at the right angle and how to basically take advantage of the self leveling characteristics of the acrylic. Those are all great, but if you don't have great balance 
holding the hand, holding the brush, balancing your hand so that you don't shake. Right. You're never going to be able to take advantage of all those beautiful, basically, attributes, right, of the product, right? Because you don't have the balance to basically take advantage of it. It'll get away from you. You don't have control. You don't have control. So, like, even, like, what's funny is I remember, you know, I've tried this with with Greg and Tracy of, like, picking up a pearl. And I'm, you know, initially, I've just got my brush and I'm, like, free-floating it and trying to pick it's so hard bro unless i've got my pinky like on the jar and i'm holding right. and that way i've got yeah. stability like that, that stability and balance it's like a, a polish bottle right if you pick up a polish bottle right and again you're holding it i can hold it to the side like this right and then just like and then like if i'm handing if bro. i'm trying to polish something what ends up happening if you're not used to it what ends up happening is you, you don't come in a straight line you end up doing the zigzag and then Again, you also end up basically putting too much pressure and then flooding the cuticle area. Right. And that's because your base, your fundamental base, which is so crazy yeah. how it's so similar, so similar. is off. The, the, the true, you know, be, and especially with nails, in order for you to master the craft, you have to be able, again, you have to strengthen your base. And what does that mean? Your balance. You have to be able to have great dexterity with your hands, strengthening your hand muscles so it becomes... Second nature. Now, it's not just with the brush. It's not just with the polish bottle. It's also with a handpiece and an electric right. file. Right. All across the board, it doesn't matter whether you're doing painting, whether you're doing polishing, whether you're applying gel polish, using an electric file, your gel brush, your acrylic brush. Nail art. It, all of it's ba good balance. And in order to do that, you have to be able to start off. How do you hold the client's hand and the brush and balance at the same time without shaking. In the beginning when you're learning, it's not comfortable because this is something they're not used to doing. But with practice, with again and again, getting out of your comfort zone, practicing these methods on a regular basis, eventually your hands get used to it. Yeah. Eventually you do get basically strong enough where whatever you pick up and whatever you use you don't feel anything. It Dude, becomes there, totally natural. There's a, like, in, again, I'm going to use martial arts as as comparison, but there's, it's called, like, like hidden, ju invisible, like, jujitsu, where to the naked eye, you're looking and you're like, I don't see anything what this person is doing, but it's, it's, it's a slight hip movement, potentially, that you're doing that is giving you this insane advantage, advantage and balance. And I feel like, in nails like this like an invisible extreme fundamental that is absolutely necessary across the board is balance it is you know people want to they go to instagram and they see these nails bro and they're like dude i want to do that crazy nail art and they're, they're just starting i want to do these long nails in acrylic and you know forms and you you got to start with you know this huge yeah. fundamental it, the, the literally you have to master balance across the board between holding the tools you're working with and the customer's hand at the same time without shaking if you really get that down it's a game changer especially for those of you guys that are just starting right now focusing on doing the techniques again that's great because you're going to be learning how to pick it up how to set it down right Learning how to prep, learning how to pick up, how to set it down, and then learning how to finish. You have three variables, right? Between those three variables, you have fundamentals on all three aspects. Right. But again, during prep, how do you hold your handpiece so that you're able to prepare the nail in a very gentle manner without doing damage to the natural nail? How you're going to hold the hand while you're doing it. Then during application, the fundamentals between holding your brush, picking it up, setting it down so that you don't get it all over the place. And then finishing is the same exact way. How do you hold your hand, right? So the... Dude, if you're not holding the hand the right way during finishing, the customer's looking at their fingers the whole time you're right, working and right. you have no control of the situation. You have to know how to be able to do the basics really well. And that is going to set you up for a lot of success in the future, especially in this career. Yeah, I, I think there's just so much focus because of Instagram. I mean, look, Instagram, TikTok, you know, YouTube Shorts, all, all these platforms, Facebook are great because it exposes our industry and nails in, in, in a positive, like in a great way. Like you just, you can, if you want to see nails, you can get an endless supply of like nail art to your heart's desire, which is awesome. 
but at the same time, it's it's like watching basketball, you know, where I'm 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 watching LeBron go down the court and just dunk it in somebody's face. I want to do that, bro. <laughs> you know, I want to do this insane nail art now. And, you know, uh, so like balance being that first step and then even just consistency, right? Uh, yeah. Mastering consistency before you start sculpting out these these nails that you want to do nail art, Correct. you get your balance down, but then understand like really understanding consistency. Mm. You know, even in gel like there's different consistencies of gel and picking up the gel in the right way. If it's a thicker or thinner the fundamentals dude, of applying a nail form, the f dude, how to apply a, a nail, nail form. form. So huge. It starts off with one basic technique, right? And then once you're like, well, how do you fit it to different nail shapes? Then again, if you have the fundamentals down where you're able to apply it, then you can say, well, I need to customize the form to be able to fit different nail shapes, square, right. extreme C curve, extended hibernicum, wide fingernails. I, there's different shapes. And again, you can fit a form to anybody. You just have to have the basics down. And once you have the basics down, everything else becomes easier. Well, it's interesting is I, I, I funny enough, but it takes balance. Yeah, of course it totally takes balance. And like understanding that, you know, like I love pre pinching, and then it's so much easier for me to like, oh my God, if I'm trying to just do it like loose like this, it's so much harder than pre-pinching, getting balance, and then just dropping it in. It's, Correct. It's, you can use it as a handle or you can use the arms to rock it on. To rock There's it on. multiple ways, ways. Yeah. of, again, setting a base so that the application is easier. Are you going to get it on the first try? Maybe not. But again, if you continue practicing these basic things... It's going to lead to a lot of success, and then once you again, once you master nail forms, you, yeah, you're you're not going to tip anymore. So 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 check it out. Like I want to do awesome nail art acrylics. Okay, but if you can't put a nail form on the right way and have them stay on, you're never going to get to that point. Right. Even with like picking up, you know, it, it sounds boring. Well, I, I'm just going to pick up acrylic pearls until I can feel confident in how I bounce the angle, of the brush, how it enters in the powder picking it up, getting the right consistency if I'm doing a free edge or if I'm doing a cuticle pearl. People, dude, that's so important. It's not, yeah, it's not the same. It's not the picking same. Picking up a free edge bead is completely different than picking up a body bead, right? It, like it's depends on what you're going to be working. You have to have different consistencies. And, and again, picking it up, how do you pick it up? There's a, there's a fundamental to picking it up so it's on one side of the brush. Right. Not covering the whole entire brush right you have to have an even pearl so that it lays down without sticking to your brush when you lift it up right you just press it, it right off and it comes right off right if you're not getting that we have a problem houston <laughs> exactly dude there's no lift off bro there's no lift there's off. no lift off it's not gonna happen <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> right it's not dude like exactly but th i think there's two much there's a lot of content out there of you know how to do amazing you know three inch stilettos and and you're like watching it time lapse and somebody's like doing a voiceover and it's like yo 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 so hit the pause button you you got to learn how to do a b c d and e before you get to f you know you, like <clears throat> you do you have to master. If you guys want to be nail ninjas, you have to get your fundamental base down. Once you get that base down, I'm telling you right now, you're off to the races. And so like generally as like an overview, so we've got, you've got to learn balance. That's Correct. going to help everything. Form application, whether it's acrylic or gel, Correct. right? Picking up uh, uh, picking up your acrylic or your gel because there are techniques to the scooping Correct. to right for acrylic and gel, um, and then understanding really understanding the different consistencies and even how to pick up different sizes yes. of pearls, right? <laughs> Correct, right, and then you know understanding how to be able to lay those down so it doesn't get away from you. There's right. a fundamental, basically, technique to that, and um, then and then you've got your 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 obviously your application. And then finishing. finishing and filing, right? Filing and finishing. That you have to understand the fundamentals to how to hold your hand file, how to use your hand file, fundamentals, and yep. then same with your electric file. The good news, guys, 
is if you go on our YouTube and you type in like fundamentals of acrylic or gel or hand filing or whatever, you're going to, we gonna have, it. you're going to find it. We have a whole entire library as well as the, the lives that we're doing on TikTok. Yes. Um, if you guys are tuning in to nail school on TikTok, I am constantly talking about the fundamentals in detail. I'm not rushing to show you the work I'm doing. I know what I'm going to put out. I want to see you guys doing the same exact thing. Yep. Right. So I have to be able to break it down into a really meticulous, you know, format. Yeah. Detail. Detail. Yeah. That you can see and understand all basically aspects um, of nail application. Guys, if you have any questions on fundamentals, please let us know in the comments below and we will answer your questions. Greg, thank you so much. Appreciate you, bro. Guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time on the BizDoc. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.